Hey everybody, it's Sad the Red, and welcome back to Galaxy Girls. Right then, last we left off, this, this was happening. And I really have nothing else to say but that. So anyway, all around the room there are pillows and blankets spread out on the floor. We have the TV playing a rom-com for background noise too. Each of us, clad in our sleepwear, were sprawled out on the f over the floor. Wow, all the sexy cleavage around me, it's like I'm in lesbian heaven. You fucking would. Someone come and give me a faithful a tit. Sarah grunts and lightly punches Godoha on the shoulder. Don't be vulgar. Hmm, <laughs> you're just jealous as you have the smallest cup size here. <laughs> Damn. Also, I, I, I have a... As much as I'm in mind of you, I have a feeling this is not what is actually supposed to be going on currently, at least right now. Uh, the blonde tries to mask her anger with an awkward smile. I I'm not jealous. That's ridiculous. Her frustration seems to indicate otherwise. Mm. There's nothing wrong with a small chest. I mean, yeah, true. R right, Erica? I've been pulled into it? Well, oh, why? Why do I have to... Why is this... I like big tits and I can, I like fl to flat as justice. I don't want to talk about this. I don't. Wh why have I been pulled into this? Why can't I just say, oh, 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 all tits are lovely. Boobs are great. I mean, there you go. Done. It just, I, 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 I don't, I, I like, I, uh, sorry, Sarah. I mean, look, you've been a bitch the whole fucking game, okay? Maybe if I were going your ride or something. Sorry, Sarah. I honestly prefer larger chests. <laughs> right? I just want to cup them in my hands and use them as pillows. Tuh. Fine. What about you, Amelia? Hmm. I like both. The bigger ones are more fun to play with. There's more you can do with them. You seem to know an awful lot about that, huh? She playfully sticks her tongue at him and then grabs her own breasts in her hands. I mean, I do have these lumpy things attached to my chest. I blush, turning away. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, why didn't let me touch him? It's a sleepover, so it's fine, yeah? Kodaha is practically drooling as she stares at Amelia's chest, patches of soft skin protruding from the gaps in the white-haired woman's fingers. I, I, I guess so. Oh boy. I wasn't expecting her to agree to it. I mean... I, I, I'm not really surprised by much at this point. A slight pang of jealousy rises in my stomach, because I'm sure that's what that is, as I watch K while Kodaha's hands wrap around Amelia's breasts. Ugh. The raven-haired girl's hands massage the breasts. The breasts. Da ta tas. Isn't this a bit much? I agree with Sarah. Yeah. The, <laughs> I think Kodohas are gonna agree too, but in a quite different way. They're, they are too much. They're filling her hands up. It's going everywhere. Kodoha ignores her, please. The tips of her fingers move with the prominent bumps to the center of Amelia's breasts, rubbing them against them gently. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Sarah quickly buries her face in a pillow. Yeah. I really don't want to watch people get it on. This really is too much. I swat Kodaha's hands away from the busty woman. Hey, what was that for? She's mine, bitch. You're grossing us, Sarah. Besides, you were taking that way too far regardless. Aww. They just felt so nice. You had big boobies too, though, Cap. Why didn't let me touch yours now? N no way. This is one interesting party, all right. Interesting, quote unquote. All of a sudden, Kodaha pops up excitedly. Hey guys, why don't we play Truth or Dare? Oh, f f oh f a fucking course. A fucking course. It's a sleepover classic. Truth or Dare? Sounds fun. You, seriously? Seriously, you're the one who agrees to that? A are you kidding me? Wait, really? Doesn't seem like your kind of game. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I used to be the master of it in high school. Master of ch well, I guess come with creative dares and creative. Uh, okay, yeah, I can say you could be a master of truth or dare. Sure, I, I really wouldn't take pride in saying that, but that's kind of yeah. Okay, she <laughs> it's like you're reading my fucking mind, or I'm reading yours. I don't know. How could you be the master of truth or dare? The blonde winks. Yeah, huh? You'll find out soon enough. Uh, maybe this isn't. Amelia happily chimes in. Too late, we have to play now, right Erica? <laughs> I agree. Crap. 
It just why 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 do you believe this to be a scene change when it's in the CG arranges it? Are you winking at me now? Things have been relatively tame so far, but I can tell they're finally starting to heat up. S Sarah's turn. My my, why do you look so nervous? I haven't done anything to bad you yet, have I? The riven haired girl gulps and shakes her head. Even I'm getting a little afraid though. The blonde snickers and slowly turns her attention to a fearful Kodoha. Kodoha, truth or dare? You know you have to take dare. You can't just take truth every single time. Oh, she's been has she been backing out like a fucking bitch? <laughs> yep, it's an unspoken rule. I know, I know. Fine, dare me. Sarah's eyes glimmer with mischief. I dare you to strip yourself naked and stay that way until morning. Okay, well, sure. That's from that, that's from zero to hundred. That's just well, okay, maybe not a hundred. Let's just say zero to fifty. It's about halfway to something a lot more, you know. Emily and I both chuckle nervously. W what the hell? You're supposed to be a prude. What's wrong with you? A sly smile crosses the blonde's lips. I make exceptions when it comes to revenge. What have you been revenge for? Gah. For bringing up my chest size, of course. Mm hmm. So, are you going to do it or are you going to chicken out? Which will it be? Tuh. I'll do it. Yeah, okay. And I don't even need to censor that. It censors it for me. Cool. But now she looks even happier. The girl slowly starts to strip off her underwear piece by piece. When she gets down to her underwear, it seems more reluctant than before, but somehow manages to pull them off. Sarah whistles at her. Nice body. Too bad your um, breasts aren't a few cut size larger. Hmm. Hmm. Hey! Huh. Guess you got your back, huh? C Captain, you too? I smirk. Sorry. Well, I don't think you can blame any of us. You did bring it on yourself. Kodaha averts her gaze, blushing. I guess you're right. I did deserve it. Who's next? And suddenly blanket. Sarah slumps on the floor, pulling a blanket over herself. Sorry, but I'm gonna call it night now. You seriously did all that just to get back at me? You haven't gonna let me get my revenge on you? Of course. Hell hath no fear like a woman scorned. I stifle the chuckle. As anticlimactic as it is, I must admit that I'm rather impressed by Sarah's clean-cut revenge. Oh, Well, let's stop here then. Besides, we can just enjoy the view now. <laughs> With a small giggle, her eyes fix it on Kodaha's bare chest. True enough. The nude girl blushes, trying to cover her exposed breasts with her hands. Guys, this is embarrassing. Don't stare like that. I can't stop. You're too cute. A small pain rises in my stomach. Uh, why don't we all turn in for the night now? It's getting a tad late. Oh, yeah. Hadn't noticed. I certainly wouldn't argue with that. It's getting real cold over here. <laughs> you know, you could have pulled a blanket over yourself any time, right? The broken hair girl stares blankly at me. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Uh-huh. After sharing a chuckle, we begin to settle down. We all pull the covers over ourselves, turning the lights and television off as the friendly banter fades to silence. My eyes flicker over as I begin to realize there's a shooting pain in my back. I groan as I roll around, trying to straighten out my spine. A quiet crack gives me a bit of relief. The pain is slightly dull, I sit up and take a swift look around the room. Amelia is nowhere to be seen, but Kodaha and Sarah are still fast asleep. I should probably head back to my room for now. Alright, kind of, well, defeats the purpose of being there to begin with it fine. I stand up then quietly and carefully tiptoe out the door. Ugh, sleep on the floor is the worst. I'm a little groggy now, too. Yeah, sleeping on a hard floor sucks. <laughs> it's, it's, oh. I've never done it on intentionally, really, but I have... Whenever visiting certain people and they don't have an extra bed or something, I'll have to use like an air mattress. And with my luck, every single air mattress I've ever used in my life has had a hole in it. So I wake up on the ground. Or at the, or the very least, sagging. Fucking things suck. I walk over to the bedside, stretching my limbs as I go. Huh. Huh. I woke up an hour early, huh? Well, that's not so bad. Maybe I'll take a shower before I do anything else, though. I feel kind of gross. I step into the dining area, feeling clean and refreshed. I look around, but there aren't any signs of the people yet. May as well make breakfast, everyone. If they aren't by the time I'm done, I'll go wake them. 
Thankfully, it turns out that I don't need to wake anyone. Sarah, Kodoha, and Amelia all pile into the room within the period of time where I'm cooking. Thanks so much, Captain. I love your breakfasts. Yes, thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you, Erica. Well, at least you're a lot nicer. I carry over a pl uh, plate after plate, filling up the table. I finish it off with a few pitchers of drinks and cups of coffee. Finally, I rest my feet by taking a seat, sighing as the pressure flits away. No problem, ladies. I just figured you would all be hungry. Well, I mean, generally people tend to be after, you know, sleeping. Not eating for several hours and so on, the body needs sustenance. Right you were. What a shocker. I took a quick glance around the table, admiring the police faces of my friends to dig into their breakfasts. Staring down on my own plate, I grab my fork and pile a bite onto it. The food always tastes better when you eat it with others. Does it though? Does it really? I, 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 I tend to find that food just tastes better when it's actually good. Company means fucking nothing. Although, there is a, the saying that some adhere to that, you know, food tastes better when you make it yourself. Assuming you don't ruin it, but it's the, the accomplishment kind of adds a psychological factor. Well, why am I, why am I, why, 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 why am I rambling on about this? Well, I test all the main systems, my mind wanders. I haven't seen Amelia since breakfast. She didn't come back for lunch. It's so unlike her. Um, okay. I wonder if she's feeling sick. Her inspiration to eat every meal is, well, strange. <laughs> Wait, she's not shoveling food into her mouth. What the hell? It's... Okay. Maybe she's just busy. I mean... I saw I'm moving from one side of the room to the other. I suppose I shouldn't worry too much, but it feels like I can't get out of my mind lately. Yeah. Carnage now in front of a panel, I continue my work. Maybe I should have distracted myself. And the Konoha nor Sarah should be too busy today, so I could pass the time with them after this. My legs starting to cramp at the joint, uh, start starting, oh, so I stand back up stretching. There should have been either a word here, or we'll move a word here, but okay. That should do it for now. I head out the door, trying my best not to think about a certain someone. Trying, but failing. I knock on the door in front of me, internally begging for an answer. Thankfully, it opens up quickly enough. Hey, Cap, something up? Well, actually, I was hoping we could spend some time together. Uh, is that alright? She gives me a weird look before smiling. A weird look? Her, really? Huh. Hell yeah, it is. Wanna come in and play a game? We can throw in a multiplayer one. Alright, that sounds fun. Does it though? Oh, God. <laughs> Just curious that this is supposed to be an Easter egg to something they've done before. Or I don't know. Anyway, uh, both Kodaha and I match with the controllers in our hands. The joystick's occasionally squealing. The joystick squealing. I'm sorry, but if you're, if you're, if you're jo what? This can be played with a gamepad. Really? <laughs> just had it plugged in to reach over to like move the, the fucking joystick like look joysticks aren't meant to you know squeak if they're squeaking it means something's probably wrong with your fucking gamepad I mean they're supposed to be smooth rather and the only other sound is the clacking as it imp as the as it impacts at the edge of the oh, never mind you're actually doing a lot better than I remember good job thank you I have always had a knack for picking things up quickly must be useful I suppose so. Have you always had after picking up people quickly, though? I mean, that seems what you kind of what you're doing now. Try as I might, I can still feel that invasive thought trying to poke its head back into my mind again. Why can't I just enjoy this game? Hey, is something wrong? You're pretty much cringing right now. I was just wondering where Amelia was. She didn't come back, uh, come for lunch, and I was getting a bit worried. She loves to eat, after all. Oh, actually, I think I know something about that. I try my best not to look overly excited at the prospect. Hmm. <laughs> Do tell. Well, earlier she said she was a few days behind in the cleaning and wanted to catch up, no matter what it took. So she's probably cleaning something somewhere. Oh, I see. Thanks for telling me. Something, somewhere, vague, but alright. No probs. Hope that relieved your words a little. I smile. It did. Okay. I switch my arms and yawn. 
Sorry, I'm a tad tired. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a nap. The raven-haired girl waves at me, smiling. Sure, no problem. Have a good rest. The next morning. That's more than a nap, but okay. I roll from side to side, suddenly finding myself awakening. I rub my eyes to the backs of my hands, yawning. Afterwards... <sighs> Thank you for that. Now I'm yawning even more. Afterwards, I take a quick look at the clock. As do I. And something later than I wanted to. Oops. Uh, like a wayward rolling pin, I fall off the bed onto the floor, waste no time to head back out. I'll just go for a walk. While passing through the corridor is an odd sound. To be. An odd sound catches my attention. It fluctuates in volume every few seconds, occasionally taking short intervals. My curiosity gets the better of me, and I inch close towards one of the strange noise, finding myself in front of the garden room. For some reason, the door's auto open feature is currently disabled. The temptation to peek, uh, take a peek is too great. I hit the open button, causing the door to sli uh, slickly slide open. Oh my god, I should not be seeing this right now. While I have a sneaking suspicion what it is that she is seeing that she should not, quote unquote, be seeing, uh, I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.